Next, we want to discuss things to consider when preparing a mesh. How to create a smooth, watertight mesh is of critical importance. When you're preparing your mesh, there are three things to consider. The resolution, the mesh holes, and the file format. The smaller and denser the polygons are, the smoother the mesh and the final product will be. Like digital photos, lower resolution results in coarser renderings with fewer details. Higher resolution results in larger files because more points, lines, and faces must be stored. With larger files, with larger files, the CAM software will take longer to process the files and it will increase the build times. 3D printers vary in precision or their ability to accurately reproduce fine details. If a mesh file is not considered, if a mesh file is not consistent, it will affect the part quality because of the 3D printer's capabilities. This would be akin to printing a high definition photograph on a standard inkjet printer. To summarize, when creating your mesh, we want a smooth surface. There are three things to consider. The higher resolution, the larger the file size. The larger the file size, the longer it will take to process. And is your 3D printer capable of this resolution? Remember, we want to make the surface look as smooth as possible with our 3D printer. If we look at the spheres, we can definitely see the difference in file size and how smooth the surface will appear. And remember, because a mesh is an array of polygons, it will never be perfectly smooth. Holes must be considered. The mesh must be watertight for 3D printing. With complex objects, there is a risk that surface edges will become separated by holes or gaps. The CAM software can only print watertight models, so any holes in the mesh must be repaired. To repair the solid, a boolean command is usually used. If you have holes in your mesh file, you can repair them using your CAD program, standalone mesh mixer software, or online surfaces. The file format used is important. All 3D printed meshes will start with your initial CAD file, which gets converted to a mesh file format, and then typically saved as an STL file. So we can have mesh ASCII or mesh binary file. And recall, an STL file is commonly used as an input for fabrication system. This file describes only the surface geometry of a three-dimensional object without any representation of color, texture, or other common CAD model attributes. The surface geometry is defined as triangles consisting of a unit normal vector and three vertices. Adjacent facets must have common vertices. Data can be stored in either ASCII or binary code. And STL is an acronym for standard tessellation language. Binary is a base two number system that represents numeric values using symbols zero and one where ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange, is a standard method for defining alphanumeric data. ASCII STL files are larger files than binary because they save more data. When preparing your mesh file, always consider the resolution, mesh holes, and the file format. Now that you have a better understanding of what a mesh is, Try to keep it in mind when designing objects for 3D printing.